Yeah. Yeah. And now just a few stretches for you to do at home. Uh, it should take you about 15 minutes, um, about 15 seconds in each stretch. So it's going to work every bit of the body at some point. Okay? So we're going to start off just the basic hamstring lower back stretch. So push the hips back all the way until you feel that stretch in the hamstring. And exhale and reach down towards the ground. Keep them locked in there, making sure your knees are straight. Hold it there for 15 seconds. Okay. From there, you're going to come down, step back. From there, it's an upward facing dog. So hips against the ground, rolling the shoulders back. And try to push along your hips, along the ground, and looking up. So stretch the abs and the chest. Inhale, exhale, back into downward facing dog. So heels stretching towards the ground, knees flexing up towards the back of the ceiling, and the chest down towards your toes. You want to be rotating your pelvis down towards the ground as you're coming back. Okay? From there, back down to the upward facing dog, hold that for 15 seconds, 15 seconds again, and then back, and then stretch out the lower back. So you're going to sit back against your heels for 15 seconds. Okay? Roll over onto your back, left knee over your right knee, and then grab behind the leg. Pull back towards your chest. Okay, you should feel that in the hip of your back leg. Okay. 15 seconds, swap it over. To the other side. Now if you want, you can grab your foot and kind of pull it towards you. That's even the stretch itself. Okay, just a little bit of assistance with pulling your knee back. And release, give it a shake. Okay. Right arm out straight. Right arm, right leg, sorry. Comes across and then bringing that knee down towards the ground. Keeping that shoulder pressed down all the time. So try to really elongate your obliques there on the side of your body. Okay, you should feel a stretch, lower back, hips, and just across your shoulders as well as you come down towards the ground. Okay? Swap it over then, 15 seconds on the other side, and then you're gonna hop up, okay? Last one, you want to do, last one we can do standing. Okay, so quads. Leg back, just get your balance. Okay, so open your hip forward. To the side, so open your hip forward. Don't crunch back. Push your hip forward, keep your knees together, and then pull that heel in towards your back side. Okay, do that on the other side. And all we've got left is shoulders and chest. Okay, so shoulders, arms straight, come across the body. Just before the elbow, pull your arm across. Hold it there. You can look to the other side to help stretch out your neck and traps as well. Should feel that just along there. 15 seconds, nice and loose. Other side, we'll cross the body. I'll stretch it the other side. And actually, just for there, right? So you show them one thing. Something that we worked on as well. And remember, this is a little bit short. So you want to grab a broom or something, bring it overhead, and try it. Uh, stretch back, uh, back over. Okay, difficult to do. That's pretty short. So grab a broom or something like that. Just to open up that shoulder girdle towards the back. Okay? And then, last few stretches. Just come over here. Put it over here. Okay, so chest. So, grab the side of the wall and you're just going to twist around and try to move the side of your body and look around. Okay? 15 seconds on the other side. So, hand flat and you're just going to twine and twist around as far as you can. Feel that stretch all along your chest, front of the shoulder as well. Okay, and then last one, so chest and lats, kind of back your shoulders, hands pressed against the wall, and you're just going to bring yourself down, and then you're going to slide down towards the ground. Okay, so I'll show you that right here. So you're going to be twisting, and coming right down into the plant. Okay, you should feel a stretch with the armpits, lats, just about there. Okay, and that's it, full body stretch. So hold down for about 15 seconds. Um, if anyone else who's actually not looking for just like stretching guidelines to do just just normally after a workout you can throw them in, it's a great way to cool down as well. Okay, thanks.